All right, time for another update. It's uh, December 19th. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on a few things from powder coating, but I did make progress, more than it looks like, actually. But they got the, all the flying wires done. The tail feathers are all level and square with each other, so that's all good. Really no issues there. It actually worked out really well. Um, seat backs are coming. The mixer, if anybody's got any comment about that, let me know. It's a little bit stiff. I don't think that material there will actually break in much. It's not bad. And these little short sticks, you can you can still see it a little bit. But I do have an idea on how to open that up a little bit. I'm just not sure if I should. Got Steve Henry's engine mount. That all fit correctly. Did a little cleanup. Mated the hole down at the bottom. So that's all going well. Also did Steve Henry's leading edge mod. One thing that actually worked out really well on it, if, if you guys actually are doing the mod and happen to have one of these tools, it was extremely easy to just lay everything out. Basically set this up, lock it in place where it... it fits right on the back of the aileron and then it just has that angle locked into it and you mark all of them and and you're good to go and this tool actually worked fantastic for cutting them that actually went through them like butter you just kind of leave yourself just a little bit of just a little bit of room outside the line and then sand back to the line and they all made it up perfectly the leading edge that steve sends uh fit perfectly so i was very happy with that the other thing this tool actually was really great for was cutting these tips off because you can lay it just perfectly flat against that surface and just come through both ways and just do a little bit of sanding and and it's a nice perfect fit so got those all done one thing that you probably ought to lock out look out for i did find one on mine everything else was good still got a little cleanup work to do here before i fix it but this said it actually broke loose so i don't know if it wasn't braided enough or not but they said it does happen from time to time basically just heat the high saw get it to where it's kind of flaky and soft and you can scrape a scrape the majority of it off and just redo it just to braid the crap out of that surface when you do they recommended like 36 grit just to make sure there's a really good adhesion there. A couple things did come in. i show you real quick. Got my PDM from Hardwire Electronics. That's actually fairly light, but this has 25 outputs, 16 inputs. Uh, we'll talk more about that when I actually start doing my electrical. If you want to know some about it now, you can check out Josh Vincent over at P2 Aero. He's using the same type system. It's really cool. It allows you to do lots of neat stuff, which I talked about a little bit about in the last video, and I will uh, We'll get into that in detail as it gets closer. Did get my ECU from Hypersports, and this thing is a brick. It's a black box that's going to survive just about anything. So very nice, very well made, but it, <laughs> just so you know, it is pretty close to three pounds. So it's lots of potting in it. And this is the heater core I'm going to go with. I am using a Yamaha, so naturally it's water cooled. So it uses a heater core like you'd see in a vehicle. This is for kind of a universal one for a UTV. This is their slim mount from Inferno. It is actually fairly light it's about four pounds all in and it comes with your assortment of bits and stuff that you can order from them and i think i showed you but the heater core is actually going to fit in the front section of this cowling when i do it so it'll be partitioned off away from the electronics and and the heater core will sit back here in this section and then i'll have a couple defrost ducts that's why i got these ducts so i can close them off if you know i'm not using it defrost ducts here and then down here when this angle comes out there'll be a couple more each pointed at your feet so i think that is the update for this week thanks for watching we'll see you next time